You driving? Some plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. Here was Stevie O'Keefe, mate, last week. Uh, what a nail biter there in Canberra. Yeah, it was a tight one. Tighter than I think we should have had it. Um, we had him on the ropes early on, you know, only making 80 in the first innings, but we certainly um, didn't bat well enough in that first innings. Um, and they bowled particularly well and uh, come out, you know, batting extremely. Well, Sean Marsh's 100 was pretty good to watch. Um, obviously, not from a Blues point of view, but, you know, it saw the talent that that guy had. So it's good to get over the line. I mean, Stevie Smith, what a class act. You know, he's just a different level, I think. Um, he's getting better and better each year, and, you know, fingers crossed he can reproduce it, even go uh, one bigger in the final. Former flatmates with Steve Smith, was he as, uh, as tidy at home as he was at the wicket? Um, I don't think he ever looks as tidy on the wicket, does he? He's always fidgeting and a bit of a grub. I think that's sort of the way he is at home as well. I mean, that's why I moved out, just couldn't handle it, fidgeting. The bloke never sleeps or sits still, so too hard to live with. <laughs> you've gone to you've gone to lunch uh, with about twenty odd to get. Uh, someone like you, what's what's the way you you sit around at lunch? Are you nervous? You pace it around? You have a have a sandwich? Have a nap? For, what do you do? Um, pretty nervous, um, given that where we were in the game, and you know Stevie was batting so well, and um, you know saw a ball he thought he could hit, and and, and obviously mistimed it. So yeah, we needed 25, but Gaz was really good. Gaz sort of come up with five minutes to go in the lunch break and just said, look, let's make sure it's you and me that gets this done. Um, you know, and he's confident and no one's been able to get Gaz out this year, have they? Like 15 not outs or something in his test career. So we, we had confidence that we we're going to get there over the line. Um, it was starting to spin a little bit, but yeah, a bit of Katy Perry on in the, the boom box, settled down some of the nerves and um, yeah, we were fortunate enough to get over the line. And did you give Gaz Express uh, instructions, you must sweep every ball? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think he's been touted as Australia's best sweeper. Um, and, yeah, that one that he, he swept for four off Agar certainly did, um, you know, break the momentum for us. And uh, it was a hell of a shot given the conditions and, and quite courageous. What's it like going in the final? Um, in terms of your approach, you, you change anything, uh, or you just it's just another game, or how do you how do you view that situation? Yeah, I, I try not to think of it as too much more than another game of cricket, and and just just focus on the things that you know, you do well, and and train on the things that you want to improve. So, um, given the conditions, I think it'll spin a little bit again. Um, you know, and if picked, you know, obviously losing Dougie is a big loss. So, depends on what way the selectors will want to go with with the team. But you know, if I'm picked, then. Um, you know, just focus on the, the simple things that I've done well all year and try and replicate that. Just a small matter of 40 wickets this week, uh, this year, sorry, at 20-odd. Yeah. Um, not the worst year going around, uh, leading Shield wicket taker. Uh, must be happy about time the selectors maybe tuned it into some of these stats. Yeah, not 20-odd, mate, it's 20. So, yeah, <laughs> if you're listening, 20. Um, yeah, no, it's been a good year. Um, and, uh, you know, being able to play at Adelaide, you know, where it's spun a fair bit, it's been quite good. And because the wickets, I think, have started out a little bit flatter, you've been throwing the ball more. And last year, the wickets tended to be a bit green, so you didn't get the ball in your hands quite as much. Um, this year, it's been a lot of fun being able to bowl a lot of overs and work into a spell and, and try and think of ways to get batters out. Um, and I've been, you know, Really fortunate to have played under some good captains, you know, Michael Clark, Brad Adden, Steve Smith and Peter Neville, all four very outstanding captains. And um, I think the pressure of not captaining myself has certainly helped that. And um, yeah, I've certainly enjoyed it. And, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm growing each year and, and, you know, hopefully, you know, I can save my best performance to last, which is the final. And the great thing is you seem to enjoy bowling anyway. Happy to take the new ball, bowl plenty of overs in the middle. Um, Mr. Versatility, I think they call you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's been dubbed from you, mate, I think that. But, um, yeah, look, uh, whatever the team needs, isn't it? And um, you know, I've certainly, I think my second Shield game, I took the new ball, that was four years ago. So um, you have to be prepared to do anything. Um, and in saying that, I try and keep it as simple as possible and um, not get too caught up in the technical side of things. Just try and work out ways that I can get batters out um, and, and keep it as simple as that. So, um, you know, whatever's required, if I need the new ball in this game or I don't need to bowl, then uh, it's important that you're up and around for your teammates and 
enjoying what's going on with their success, so um, nothing will change in this final game. All right, Socky, you had a great year so far. Let's uh, hope it keeps going for one more game. Thanks, Towners. I appreciate it.